Yes. Okay. So we we can we can we can say that um, Adulam was first mentioned in Joshua as a kingdom that has a king and as a kingdom as a valley territory, a low place territory. Okay. Then when we go to Second Chronicle eleven seven, we say that that city um, was fortified by Rehoboam. Okay. So in the time of Joshua. It was a kingdom, and it was one of those cities and territories that it can, it's a Canaanite city that Judah occupied, okay? So it had a kingdom. It was in a valley occupied by Judah. So what do those territories that the Israelites conquered, okay? Now, Second Chronicle comes in and say that it was a fortified city by Rehoboam, okay? Second Chronicle 11.7. And when Rehoboam was come to Jerusalem, he gathered all the house of Judah and Benjamin and hundred and four score thousand chosen men, which were warriors, to fight against Israel that he might bring the kingdom again to Rehoboam. So that's the time when the own people of God, they were, they were not fighting against external enemy. They were fighting among themselves, you see. But the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah the men of God saying, speak unto Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and to all Israel in Judah and Benjamin saying, that says the Lord, yes, ye shall not go up, nor fight against your brethren. Return every man to his house, for this thing is done of me. And they obey the word of the Lord and return from going in against Jeroboam. Okay, so we, uh, Adulam was a foreign territory captured by the children of Israel, in the conquest of occupying the promised land, it became the territory of Judah. And then the time where the, the, the kingdom was divided and they were fighting among themselves, they um, Roboam fortified. This is one of those cities that he fortified. Okay. So we go to verse five, it says, and Roboam dwelt in Jerusalem and built city of defense in Judah. He built even Bethlehem and Etam and Tekoa and Beth Sor and Soko and Adulam. Okay, he built Adulam and Gath and Marasha and Zip and Adurim. So he had a lot of cities that he built. Verse 11 say, and he fortified the stronghold and put captain in them and store of victual and oil and wine. Okay, we know the spiritual meaning of oil and wine, but we're going to move forward. And in every several city, he put shield and spear and made them exceedingly strong, having Judah and Benjamin on his side. Okay, so Adulam is one of those cities that he fortified. In Adulam, he put oil and wine, as well as the other ones. Okay. So let's go to the next. Okay. Bear with me. There you go. Okay. So in addition to a fortified city, as we progress, we see that Adulam in 1 Samuel 22nd, 1 to 2, Adulam was also mentioned as being the place where David found refuge. So Adulam is a place of refuge. Okay, so you see the progression. Adulam is a city, it's a, it's a, it's a place, it's a kingdom, it's a low valley, but it's a fortified city where you can find oil and wine. And then Adulam is a place of refuge. David found refuge in the caves of Adulam when Saul was after him. 1 Samuel 22, 1-2. David left God and escaped to the cave of Adulam. When his brothers and his father's household heard about it, they went down to him there. Those who were in distress, those who were in debt, those who were discontented 
gathered around him, and he became their commander. About 400 men were with him. So in Adulam, David went there to find refuge away from Saul. But what happened? He drew with him people that literally were like his own state of being at that time. At that time, David was in distress. And all who were in distress followed him. David was discontented because his peace was threatened or actually literally taken away from him by Saul. All who were discontented just like him followed him. The one in debt, someone in debt is someone who owes something, you see, and your debtor is after you. You see, Saul made David feel like he owed him his little, his very life by coming after him to kill him. So everyone who had the condition of David were drawn to David because David was going where? Or what did he find? He found Adulam. He found a place of refuge. So he says his brothers and his father's household heard about it and they went to him there. You see, so even his father and his brother followed him. And remember, this is the son in his father's household who was despised, who was rejected and, and, and mistreated because of his, you know, the way he was born. It's a whole story around the way he was born. He was somehow considered to be a, an adulterous child. But technically, it was not. But they didn't know that. So they mistreated him because of that. Now, he find a place of refuge. His father and his brother goes there and follow him there. Okay? Ad, um, Adulam, the cave of Adulam, represented a place of hope, a place of safety a place of security, a place of thinking and meditation. Because David retrieved himself there for all of that, but also it was a place for him to engage with the, his Lord away from danger. And now he has a place where he can worship his father. He can meditate, he can communicate and ask questions. Why is Saul after me? What am I supposed to do now? What do I do? What is the strategy? Prayer, meditation is Adulam. And what, what amazed me is, that, is the kind of people that he drew there. See, when you and I find refuge in the Lord, there is a way that we become honey and the bee follow us. There is a glow that we have. There is a peace we have. We can be in a in a in a um, job place where they are firing people left and right and center. People are coming to work with anxiety. Yet you come to work, you are whistling, singing the glory of God. You have a hymn, and your your step are skipping, and your colleagues are like. The, the what the bankruptcy the, the the company is going through you're not affected you say i have adulam huh. i have adulam i have a place of refuge hallelujah so adulam is a spiritual posture as well adulam is a posture of prayer in a realm above the physical, in a realm of the spirit, Adulam is a place, is a posture of prayer. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a realm. It's a, it's, it's an elevate, elevated uh, state where when you are praying, you are no longer praying according to your surroundings. 
you pray from a place of elevated state. You see, because in the valley where Adulam dwells is where elevation stem from. If you are on a, on a mountain top, you are already high up there. Your rise from the mountain top is not really um, as, as significant or as profound as someone rising from the mountain top to reach the level where you are rising to from the mountain top. I don't know if you see what I mean. So Adulam is a posture of prayer in the realm of the spirit. When David was in a cave, he was in a low place of prayer, a meditative awareness of danger that Saul represented at that time for him. At the same time, in that place, David knew that God was with him. In our lower state, though Adulam is low, it's a valley. In that valley, we need to know God is with us. In our lowest point in Adulam's Valley, we hide in the cleft of the rock. David was hiding there from Saul. Let our assurance and trust in God be at its highest point. Sometimes it's difficult for us to find trust in God when all is not working. When we are at our lowest point, that's when we're like, ah, where is God? People can even mock us and we yield to the mockery. When they say, where is your God? We yield to it. But that's the place that we, we are called to hold on and trust in God. That's when our trust and our faith is supposed to be full. Faithfulness is the fullness of our faith in a point of low, be it, you know, financially, health, relationship, job, when we are at the, our lowest point, that's where the faith is supposed to be full. That's where we are asked to fill our faith, to be faithful. Faithfulness, there is a difference in having faith in being faithful. Having faith in God is knowing that God will do. But being faithful, it's still knowing that God will do even when he's not doing. Having faith is knowing that God will do. Being faithful, it's still being convinced that God will do even when he's not doing. And when we are at our lowest point, in Adulam's Valley, that's where our faith needs to be full. For it is in distress that we should cling tighter to our Lord. In Adulam, we cry out to the Lord for rescue, for deliverance, for healing. In Adulam, we cry out for, to the Lord for rescue, for deliverance, for healing. Adulam is for the children of God. Adulam is the place of the children of God. It's a place of supplication. It's a place of repentance. It's a place of crying out for mercy. When David was in that cave, he cried out to the Lord. He prayed all kind of prayers. And God heard him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you.
Now, in the Hebrew language, Adulam means justice of the people. Justice of the people. Adulam located in the valley where David received justice from Goliath because the same valley is, is where David confronted Goliath. When Goliath taunted the children of Israel, he was not mocking them physically as a people. He was mocking the gods. Goliath was mocking the God of Israel. And that's what revolted David to the core. You see, but what happened is that justice came from the God of Israel and defeated Goliath to give victory to the whole kingdom. David received justice for the whole of Israel, and he also received justice for himself from Saul's persecution. When we elevated our when we elevate our posture in a place of injustice, be it at work, be it in the family, be it sometimes even in in school or even at church. Unfortunately, sometimes there are situations that are very difficult in church. And in a place of injustice, the justice that we deserve comes from heaven on our behalf to set every wrong right. Hallelujah. Adulam is in the valley. The valley of Adulam is where David received justice. Adulam means justice of a people. So when we dwell in Adulam, we let the God of vengeance, we let him be, we let him manifest. From that place, we can call him to manifest his justice. Hallelujah. I hope you guys are connected with me. <laughs> we are. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Following, Rev. It's so we're deep. here. We're here. <laughs> amen. Amen. It's so deep. Amen. Amen. So it's not a long um, word, but, you know, it's a word that I really wanted to share when 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 he came to me. So Adulam is our secret place. Adulam is our fortified city. It's the fortified city that the Lord gives to us. When we come to the Lord in, in faith, we have to understand there are di dimensions of the realm of the spirit that, that happens when we give our life to Christ. Things starting being shaken and things starting being reorganized. Imagine having a guest in your home. Someone calls and say for us that are overseas, even in Africa, even, even there, because you're always making a space for somebody. You see, a cousin drops that, an auntie, a cousin, a, a, an uncle, somebody comes in the house and you start shaping thing the place you like okay um uh, fix the guest room or if you don't have a big enough house where there is a room that nobody touches that is for guests you ask your children to make do okay you go you know find a little space in your, in your brother's uh, room all of you and then you free a room for that uncle for that auntie this is what happened in heaven when somebody gives his life to Christ, there is shaking. They say the angels are, are rejoicing. There is shaking. There is a there, there is a territory that is that is being um organized for that for that soul to, to to occupy. There is a fortified city that is that is being put together for that person to dwell in, to to manifest the glory of God in a place that is a place of worship, a place that is a place. Of, of hiding. You see, the cleft of the rock opens up and you are inside. It is our place of safety. It is, our, it is a place of posture, of prayer and supplication. 
when you pray and you rise up in prayer, you must see something. There's something that is yours that the Lord carves out for you. You must see something. For me, when I pray, when I worship and I rise up, I see I see a door opening and, and it's a bright light coming through the door. And I see his figure in the entrance of that door. And I thought it was my imagination only when, I think it was not this Thursday, the, the first day before, we were worshiping. And after ministration, our brother Francis um, um, gave a testimony that when we were worshiping, he saw and he pointed to the wall where I, I sit normally, where I sit and I worship throughout the ministry. And he said he saw a door opening with a bright light and a person was standing there. And I was like, oh, Father. So you show him to, and, he, and what I, I receive is that he let him, he let, he let him um, encounter or see my place of worship is my place of worship that he shared with the brother. You see? So there, there, there are things that are happening in the realm of the spirit that we have to pay attention to. When you sometimes, when you see things, don't think it's your imagination. Don't think that you are, you know, going cuckoo. No. Just let the Holy Spirit minister to you. There is a fortified city that we occupy in the realm of the spirit. It is our place of safety. It's our place, it's our place of prayer and supplication. We have to be healed. We have to be mended. We have to be made whole so that we can turn around and help others. This is why I'm insisting on supplication. I'm not talking about intercession yet. I'm talking about supplication. Because in Adulam, you go for you. You go there to be equipped. It's a fortified city that is equipped, that is fortified, that is uh, um, endowed, that is, that is uh, um, you know, uh, enriched with things. And those things are supposed to equip you to then manifest in your place of victory. Because you cannot fight for somebody when you yourself are not equipped. David could not save anybody. He had to go there to be in security. Now, when his men went there, all of them in that place, they got mended. All these men got transformed. All these men got transformed. They became Dodo who was fighting until his spear became his hand. It is in Adulam that Dodo was made. Dodo was no longer a broken man. He became a mighty warrior for David's army. It is in Adulam. So in Adulam, you don't do intercession, you do supplication. It is for yourself. Father, heal me. Father, put me together. Father, remove arrows in my heart. Father, remove demons that are fighting me. Father, my, my the foundation I'm standing on is too wicked. I need a new foundation of the apostle and prophet to stand as your minister. This is where we are washed with the blood. We are redone. We are remended and equipped. It is a place where we receive vindication. It's a place where physical and spiritual are made one. The physical and spiritual are made one. We become a spiritual being in Adulam. It's a place of victory. It's a place that the Lord manifests his vengeance against our enemies. Adulam is our rock. Adulam is our strong tower. Adulam is our savior. Hallelujah. In Adulam, we are made one. Spirit, soul, and body. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's where I stop today.
Amen. Any question? I'm gonna position this. Um, I don't I don't have a question, Mom. Um, I just have a comment because I think this okay. is um something really vital and really important for all of us to understand. Um and it goes back to uh, Christians, you know, we have a fear of pride. We have a fear of pride and we worry that when I pray for myself, I am not being selfless like Christ was selfless, you know. So now coming into the understanding of what Adulam is and, and when you look at the life of David and what he went through and when you consider the language in the Psalms, you actually realize that yes, there is a place, there is a place for that. And I think this is the place where Jesus makes you. Um right. like he said to the disciples, he said, I will make you fishers of men. So come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And they were with him for three years, three and a half years. And in those three and a half years, he basically destroyed the foundation of religion on which they were standing on. That's and right. out of that rose mighty apostles who turned the world upside down. Amen. Um, and it should be all of us. It should be all our journey because um, the disciples themselves, um, they, they, they were hard of understanding and they were hard of hearing, but they continued to follow him and to learn and to ask questions. And like asking questions is so vital. They continue to ask questions and try and find understanding and you know and all of that and at the end of it it all clicked into place so i think it's it's such a powerful teaching that you have given us and i think a lot of us i know i can speak for europe for jesus a lot of us are in an adulam season because we are praying a lot of repentance prayers we are um working on the healing of the soul um and we are crying out to the lord to say, Father, we are broken and we need your help. You need to heal our souls so that we can function at cap full capacity in your kingdom. So this just helps, at least it helps me understand what we are doing <laughs> in Europe for Jesus. We didn't have a name for it. We just thought it's a time for the Father to restore our souls, but now we have a name for it and I'm, I'm grateful. Thank you, Mama. Amen. We thank the Lord. Anyone else? If not, we're going to pray with the song in the background. Anyone else? Uh, thank you, Rev, for the teaching. Mm -hmm. um, I want to think that Adlam also is a place where Paul, Paul talked about when I'm weak, then I am strong. Amen. Like a man, mm, like a man who has got uh, his back against the wall. He's yes. dangerous. He has nowhere else to go. You will fight and he is in a stronger position. Mm -hmm. And when you are weak, God is with you and Amen. you are strong. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. That is so true. When, yeah, when your okay. back is against the wall, like the song says, mm. Hallelujah. Mm. You yes, make a way. Hallelujah. That's Thank you so makes much. A way. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Amen. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome, man. That was powerful. Thank you. Oh, I see Minister Vera. Welcome. Welcome. Anyone else has something to say? Otherwise, we go, let me position it, and we go in prayer. Let us pray. It, remember, supplication, whatsoever you are struggling with right now, if it's prayerlessness, if you cannot fast, if you are low in fuel of faith, okay, just pray, Father, refill me, 
refill me, revitalize my faith. He is the one who revived the dead. Hallelujah. Lord, there is injustice here. There is injustice there. If you leave me to my flesh, I'm going to try to avenge myself. Help me so I don't do that. I give you the floor to, to be my avenger. There, 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 there is a brokenness here. You know, let, let us pray. Let us pray supplication. Okay. Um, like Minister Ruth says, sometimes we think that praying for ourselves, we we are weak. Because that's what the church makes you feel like. You are weak to pray for yourself. You are weak to need deliverance. You are weak for this. You are weak for that. No. In our weakness, he makes us strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So let's let's let us pray. Open your mouth, open the mic, mic. When we pray together, it's stronger. Let us pray together. Lord, we come to call you in our Adulam, in our state. We want you to help us, Lord. Sometimes we don't even need, we don't even know that we need rather by refueling. We don't even know that there is a brokenness that we need to be prepared for. We need to be able to see us, we see our heart, we see our whole soul. Where we are manifesting in maturity, we see where we are manifesting sicknesses and disorder. God help us. Pointed us to us, fire, hey, we are our secret you are our strong power, so you are our rock, help us so long, help us so long, Cry out to the Lord, cry out to the Lord. I am told to stand, Rabba, and command. Yet I don't have the strength to stand and command. Lord, help me to stand and command. Heal me. Grant me to stand and command. Empower my voice to stand and command. Somebody, <laughs> 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 
Mend us, O Lord, from our brokenness. Father, have mercy. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Did any, is anyone fearing something? Is someone going through something challenging, unknown, uh, difficult? Felt like somebody needed to release fear onto the hand of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Anyone uh, receive anything? Anyone saw anything? Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Let me stop. I wanted to stop the screen. Share screen. Okay. All right. Any challenges at work, anything? Okay. The bottom Hello. line is, yeah, go ahead. Who is this? Uh, it's Tanasha. Tanasha, okay. Nice to yeah. meet you. Nice to meet you too. I just want you to pray for me in terms okay. of, yeah. In, in terms of, go ahead. Fear, yeah. Fear? But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I've just been, yeah, you know, having these thoughts of fear. It's just because okay. of the situation that I'm going through at work, something that I'm not used to. So, okay. yeah. Thank you, Father. Okay. I want all of you to lift up your voice and pray for the brother, please. Let us pray. Let us rebuke the spirit of fear. Let us rebuke in um the difficulty at work in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, on the foundation of the prophet and apostle, Father Lord, we lift that message before your throne of grace. We say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirit of fear. We rebuke the spirit of fear. We say, Father, anything threatening him, threatening his peace at work. This mighty blood to go and break the power of darkness in that world. The Father, give him victory over his enemy at the workplace. Libro Shanda Basete. Any evil standing against him at his workplace, we release the revocation, the judgment of God. We say, Paroko Shadra, all enemies at work. Be defeated now in the name of Jesus. Judgment of God is against you. Enemy of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We break the back of the enemy of God. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It is done. It is done. Amen. Amen. It's the air that I want. Amen. I thought if I buy something, you can do it. Anyone else? Anyone else, please? Sorry, I had to mute. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if we don't have any more prayer, need or prayer request, we're going to pray to close. Amen. Uh, my, my, my prayer yes. request is for my Yes, uncle. go ahead. Um, He's still in hospital, so I'd just like us to pray for his healing and his okay. salvation. Okay. Lord, we lift up. Uh, His name is? Thomas. Thomas. Father, we yes. lift up Thomas, your son. Father, he is in Adulam right now, in a place of need. He is in a place where the only way he has is to go up. But Father, we pray for his salvation. We pray for his salvation, O oh Lord. We pray for his salvation. We pray that, Father, Lord, in this time, in this place of Adulam, he gets to know you, O oh Lord. He knows you for Rebo Koshan Rabasetri. Be the nurse, be the doctor, be the visitor, be the passing by, even the cleaning person that is coming to clean his hospital room. Father, use somebody to bring him the gospel. Father, use somebody to show him Rabasetri that you alone are the salvation of the world. You alone are the one who guarantees eternal life. You guarantee eternal life. Until he said he's not going anywhere. Until he said he's not going anywhere. They heal him for his for his salvation. Heal him for his salvation, O Lord. Father, manifest yourself with divine healing, the natural miracles, healing, O Lord. Be the salvation granting him healing. Be the healing granting his salvation. Use some. Use some. 
nothing but let it be given Father, we pray for your salvation. Oh, Raba Sekere, Raba Raba Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name Amen. of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father Lord, I lift up my ministration next week at this funeral. Father, go before me. Go before me as saying standing. Let your presence be manifest among all who are mourning the loss of the sister Joyce, the mother, the aunt, the colleague, the friend. Father, as I go, you go before me. Nothing that comes out of me is on my own flesh. Let you be speaking to everyone, be the family, be the people coming. Lord, Joyce is gone. It's the living that needs to hear your gospel. Father, I pray that somebody be saved that day. I pray that somebody sees the necessity, Father, to go away from the things of the world and seek you. Lord, I pray that this funeral goes for the glory of your name alone. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Anyone else? Amen. Okay. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I wanted to pray for my mother again. Okay. Some health issues, and then she is selling her mother's house, and it's just bringing old grief issues of grief. And, uh, it's just hard on her. She's eighty-six years old, so I just wanted to lift her up and put prayers around her. Okay. What's her fr What's her name? It's Doris Ann Murray. Dor Dor Doris Ann Murray. Okay. Father Lord, we lift Dor up Anne Marie. You say? Doris. Doris. D O R I S. Doris. Oh, Doris. Oh, Doris. Okay. Okay, Doris. Okay. <laughs> Father, we thank you for Doris's life. We thank you that you kept her all these years to see this beautiful age of 86. Lord, we lift her up in her old age trying to do a uh, such an important transaction. Father, Lord, sustain her that only the people who are honest come her way to purchase her house. Father, let it be swift. Let it be without any um, any dishonest hand. Lord, bring people that hear you on her way so that this transaction be done for her benefit and not that anyone can benefit her. God, for her benefit, we pray that a honest person is sent by you to do this transaction for her. Lord, you give her strength to go through the process. You give her comfort and peace for that cooperation that only you will be done for the glory of her name. Lord, we pray for her health that Father, you sustain her. You give her divine healing. Father, all these years, she went through illness of one or the other, but you heal her. 
throughout all of it. Father, right now is no different. Father, come true for her. Show yourself that you are a healer. You are the one who granted her long life, and she will see your hand at work. We give you glory for divine healing. We give you glory for divine healing. We give you glory to touch her, oh Lord, with your healing hand. Give her, Father, a cure for her faith as she's aging. Let her faith be stronger, Father, in you. Give her a destiny. Of your faithfulness throughout her whole life. Oh, they will send the Arabranda Bassetti. Roco Baca Shendere Arabranda. He broke Shendere Arabranda Bassetti. Let Doris and Marie, or rather, to have the testimony of your goodness. All her life, you have been faithful. All her life, you have been faithful. Show her your goodness once more time. Oh, Lord, oh, oh, shit, one more time. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, your goodness, your goodness, your goodness. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the life of Doris. Thank you for her divine healing. Thank you for this operation being peacefully done. Honestly, Father, operating completely according to your will. Let it be done. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have to pray. Amen. 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 Anyone received anything for anyone we've prayed thus far? Um, Rev, I received something for Brother Tenashe. Yes, go ahead. Um, that he must call on the name of Jesus because it's a strong tower. Okay. Um, and just literally just call out the name Jesus. Like every time he feels afraid, okay. he must just call out the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, because the Bible says that they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Amen. And Amen. thank you. Amen. Yeah. Keep keep uh keep a spirit of prayer at work. I know sometimes work can be so secular and so carnal sometimes, but remain mm -hmm. in the environment of prayer. Amen. Because the spirit is with you everywhere. So when you yield to him, you allow him to 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 resident to reside and take a residence in your workplace, in your work environment. Just release mm -hmm. the blood of Jesus. Release the voice of the blood of Jesus to speak on your behalf at work in your work environment. And peace shall be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And today's word of Adulam is for him actually. Uh, he is in a place of supplication. Amen. 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 So Tanasha, we'll see you on Europe for Jesus this week. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Amen. 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 What a beautiful family of God. If we don't have any more prayer points, sometimes we dwell in the presence of God is so sweet, we don't want to go. <laughs> I know for some of you, it's late. <laughs> Amen. Amen. This is so, marvelous. Papa, it is marvelous in our eyes. <laughs> Tanasha, mm. are you, are you in, in Europe or in Africa? Uh, I'm in the UK. UK, okay. okay. Yeah. Tinashe is Sister Jennifer's son. Sister Jennifer's oh. son. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Minister Ruth, bless us with the closing prayer, please. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Amen. Oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes us now. Oh, 
Oh, Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the blood that speaks better things for us than that of the blood of Abel. Father, we thank you that the blood of Jesus speaks mercy for us. We thank you that the blood of Jesus comes and washes away all our shame, all our guilt, all our iniquity, all our transgressions, all our sins. Amen. Oh, we thank you that the blood of Jesus makes us We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the blood. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the blood. Amen. And even at this season of Adulam, Lord, we cry out for the blood of Jesus to speak. Amen. For the blood reaches where nothing else can reach. Let the blood of Jesus reach to those places, Lord, where we are even afraid to go and confront those issues. Let the blood of Jesus go and wash away the pain, wash away the hurt, wash away the anguish, wash away the despair. Let the blood of Jesus erase everything that is contrary to us. Let it be nailed to the cross even now. Father, we thank you because even though we feel broken, we know that in you we have the victory. For we are seated with you in Christ Jesus, oh, and all principalities and powers are under our feet. All oh, evil that stalks in the darkness is under our feet. Oh, all the wicked powers, Father, that are working against us are oh, under oh, our feet. Father, I pray in the name oh, of Jesus oh, that your blood will continue to speak better things for us. That your blood will continue to speak better things for us. That your blood will continue to speak for better things for us. Father, we agree with what the blood of Jesus is saying about us right now. We come in agreement with the blood of Jesus and we reject and renounce and we sever ourselves from the voice of the enemy, from the voice of the accuser. Whatever it is that he is saying, Father, we disagree. Father, we do not come in agreement with the enemy, but we come in agreement with what the blood of Jesus is saying about us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is speaking mercy. The blood of Jesus is speaking peace. The blood of Jesus is speaking love. The blood of Jesus is speaking healing. The blood of Jesus is speaking restoration. The blood of Jesus is speaking a refreshment. The blood of Jesus is speaking spiritual growth and power. The blood of Jesus is speaking wealth. The blood of Jesus is speaking abundance. And we come in agreement with what the blood of Jesus is saying about us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore we decree and we declare that our souls are healed, that Amen. our souls are healed, that Amen. our souls are restored, for Amen. he is a good shepherd, and we shall not want, therefore we are restored, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are restored by the blood. We are restored by the blood. We are restored by the blood. The blood of Jesus that speaks better things for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we come in agreement with the blood and we receive the gift that you have for us, the gift of eternal life, the gift of eternal life. Eternal life, Father, there is peace. In eternal life, there is divine health. In eternal life, there is prosperity. In eternal life, there is working of miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus. In eternal life, there is wisdom. In eternal life, Father, there is insight. In eternal life, there is the gift of the men of Issachar. Father, we thank you because we are not without. Oh, because the Lord is the good shepherd, we shall not want. We have everything that we need. And our souls are restored to receive what it is that we need. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. Because the blood of Jesus makes it possible. And even though we dwell in the caves of Adulam, we know that it is the blood of Jesus that is speaking for us. And when we come out of these caves, in the name of Jesus, we will turn the world upside down. We will be mighty men and women of war. We will no longer tolerate the darkness. 
we Amen. will go forward without Amen. compromise Amen. and we will proclaim that Jesus Christ is Amen. Lord. Amen. We will raise his name as a banner Amen. and everyone Amen. around us will conceive Amen. that indeed Jesus Amen. reigns in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we are Amen. grateful because even Amen. though we are broken, and even Amen. though we are hiding, Amen. we have the name that is above every other name. Amen. And that name is Jesus. Amen. And we call on that name. Amen. And when we call on that name, things change. Amen. When we call on that name, the dead Amen. come back to life. Amen. When we call on that name, the blind Amen. When we call on that name, the crippled walk. When we call on that name, our souls are restored. Father, we thank you for the name that is above every other name. And even as we go out into the rest of the week, Lord, Father, we thank you because we are carrying the name of Jesus. We are carrying the blood of Jesus. And we are carrying our proclamation that Jesus reigns forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 We cover Amen. all the prayers, our supplication, our intercession with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We stand and we say no retaliation, no contention. Hallelujah. And we rebuke any retaliation, any opposition to answer prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So connecting. Your substitute teacher say thank you. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Rev. You have been thank nice. You. Thank you, Rev. Thank you, Rev. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, Rev. Bye. Good night, Rev. Love you. Bye.